Okay, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to talk about how to run a .NET console application uh, on a scheduled basis with the task scheduler. In my last video, we actually ran a Python script with the task scheduler. So every five minutes, it would run this Python script. And that's basically what we're going to do today. We're gonna to make a quick little console application and then also run that with the task scheduler. It's very uh, similar, but Maybe you didn't care about the Python script, you only care about the .NET, so you didn't search for this, and that's why I'll make this video as well. And if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe, that way you don't miss any new programming tips and tricks and tutorials, whatever I decide to put out there as I learn, either from my work or just from me exploring in general. So first things first, I have Visual Studio open, and I went ahead and I created a console application, and here we have it. Um, it's just blank, and the first thing that we're going to do, and we're going to do something very similar to the Python, we're just going to write to a log file so that we can see how it actually runs and if it actually runs from the task scheduler. So let's go ahead and quickly write this up. The first thing we're going to um, set a value to is the path of where this log is being written. And actually, I'm just going to put it in the same directory as our Python script, and I'm going to copy this path right here. I'm going to delete this text file because we're going to just run it and get a fresh new text file. So let's paste that value and then at the very end we're going to put task.txt which is going to be the name of our file. And I'll put an at symbol in the front so it doesn't complain about the backslash. And so that's where our log file is going to live. Next, let's write to that log file. So using stream writer and we're going to have to bring in uh, system.io for this and I'll just call it writer which is going to be equal to a new stream writer and then the first parameter is what's our path that it's writing to and then there's a second parameter um, optional that do we want to append to what's already there or do we want to make a new file every time for me I'm going to append because we want to see it progress over time, right? So inside of this using statement, let's just do writer dot write line. Then I'm going to do a formatted string and say uh, at the very beginning, we're going to say date time dot now dot to string. And it looks like we're missing a uh, parenthesis there. There we go. To string and then like a dash and then this is running from the task. And it's just going to write that line out. So it's going to start out with the date and then say this. And let's just run it first just to make sure it works. So it ran. I'll bring that directory back over to that folder. We'll look at this task.txt and here you go. Um, let's see if I run it again if it adds a second line. And it does, perfect. So I'm gonna get rid of this again. I'm gonna delete it entirely. And since it's built, let's go ahead and look for it in the File Explorer. So open folder in File Explorer. And here's where it built. So we'll go to the bin, debug, and then here's the task.exe. Okay, so we'll need this when we create our task in the task scheduler to say, hey, run this every so often. So let's do that. Let's go to the task scheduler. And here on the right under actions, we're gonna hit create task. And the name and the description that we give it is pretty arbitrary, but I'm gonna say .NET uh, task. And description is .NET console app. And like we did before, um, you can choose to run only when the user is logged in, but typically something like so this may run on a server and we don't really care if the user is logged in or not. So I'm just going to run whether the user is logged in or not. And then you can also change what user this is running as, but I'm just going to keep it as me. Okay, and then triggers in the trigger tab. When do we want this to run? We want it to run starting out one time and I'll go ahead and say 12. Uh, 23 zero, 00 and then down here we can say repeat it every five minutes for a duration of indefinitely or forever you can change this if you need to I'm just gonna let this run forever 
and we want it enabled. So OK. And then importantly, the Actions tab, we want to say um, here is the location of the exe. So let me grab this path here. We'll get a browse in the program script. We'll paste it up here, hit enter, and here's that task. So we could say this is it. We don't need to add any uh, arguments. We don't need to start it in any specific place. Um, that's all good. We'll hit OK. And that's the only tab I'm going to do, or that's the only other tab we're going to do anything with. We'll hit OK. And we're going to put in the password for this user account. So once you put your password, you should see the new task up here at the top. Here it is, .NET task. Um, it says at 12.23 PM, it's going to repeat every five minutes. And you can see the next runtime is 12.23. So we just have to wait, it looks like a minute. And then I'll go ahead and see if this thing runs. So let me pull up uh, this folder. We'll put it down here. And also I mentioned this before, but if you want to run this manually and you don't want to wait um, till the next runtime, you just want to see if it works, you can actually hit run over here after you have the item selected and it'll go ahead and run it manually. And it won't mess up the time. Um, it'll keep the same next runtime. This just allows you to run it and test it out or maybe you just want to run it because you need to check something or you needed to do it at that specific moment, whatever the case may be. All right, so it's 12.23. I'm curious if uh, there it is, if that task ran. Um, we can see this is running from the task. So let's go ahead and let's run it manually too, like I was talking about earlier, just to show you that. So we'll hit run down here over selected item since it is selected. And this just ran it, even though we didn't really see anything, right? Whoops, got the wrong folder. So let's open it now. Now you can see we have a new line uh, 12, 23, 20 seconds in. And if we go back and look and refresh this view, we can see the next runtime didn't tack on 20 seconds, even though we ran it manually. It doesn't care about running it manually. It, it's still going to keep the same trigger, and then the next runtime is going to be consistent. Um, so that's pretty nice. And then if you want to disable it, let's say you're tired of it running, but you don't want to completely delete it, you can right click on the item and just hit disable. And if you do want to delete it, let's go ahead and delete the Python task that I created last time. We'll just highlight it over here on the right, hit delete. Yes, and there you go, it's gone. So that's how you can run a .NET console application on a periodic basis. Um, like I said, typically I would see this on a server. Maybe you want to run some code every so often. Maybe it checks a database and does something. Um, and there could be a plethora of reasons to do this, but yeah, that's how you can do it with the uh, console app. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, and hope to see you also in the next video.